Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to optimize steel structures in STAD Pro Connect Edition. In this video, we are going to be focusing on specifying the optimization par parameters in preparation for the optimization workflow. Before we begin assigning optimization commands or parameters to the model or input file, let's take a look at the completed command structure that we will be using so that we can better understand the goal of this optimization training course. Our goal is to achieve optimized member sizes that are acceptable or pass the code check for an analysis that considers the optimized sizes in both the loading of the model and the distribution of forces as a result of the stiffness matrix. The only way to achieve this is to perform a multi-step analysis workflow. The first step will be to perform the initial analysis to instruct STAD Pro to calculate the loads and member forces on the model. This analysis will use the initial section sizes in the calculations. Next, you will need to instruct STAD Pro to perform an optimization using the SELECT command. This command will optimize each steel member size based on the member forces that were distributed through the initial analysis. After that, as an additional option, you may wish to group specified members together for analysis using the group command. This will ensure that, say, a member, say all of your columns, are assigned the same size instead of a unique individual size to each member. Now, once your optimization takes place and the optimized section sizes are determined, you're going to need to re-perform the analysis to instruct STAD Pro to calculate the loads and member forces considering the new optimized section sizes. And then lastly, as a final step in your workflow, you're going to need to perform a code check on all of the optimized members. This is going to instruct STAD Pro to check whether the optimized section sizes are adequate when using the results of the latest analysis. We will now turn our attention back to our sample model and start preparing it for the optimization process. Now in a member selection, STAD Pro will find the lightest acceptable section while incorporating any specified constraints. Additionally, STAD Pro only considers sections that have the same cross-sectional shape as the initial member size. So say for example my columns, I've assigned an HSS rectangular section. Well during the optimization, STAD Pro will only look in the HSS rectangular sections within the database that I used to initially assign the section, which for this model was the United States Shape Database. In addition to that, you may want to consider controlling your optimization even further. To do that, we're going to go ahead and click on the Define Parameters button. And we're going to find several parameters that can be used in particular with an optimization workflow. First, we're going to start with a Dmax or a Dmin parameter. These parameters are used to specify the maximum allowable depth or the minimum allowable depth for member selection. Now for this particular model, I'm, I have a couple of beams. I don't want them to go smaller than eight inches. And I have a couple of columns that I want to control the size with as well. So I'm going to start with a D max of eight inches. And we'll go ahead and click the add button. Next, I'm going to go with a D min. And for a minimum allowable depth, I'm going to go with 8 inches as well. The next parameter we're going to take a look at is the profile parameter. This parameter will be used to specify the profile of a member to be used for member selection. So say, for example, I've already assigned a W12 to certain beam members in my model. And based on certain other considerations, perhaps architectural considerations or um, some mechanical requirements, I need to stick to a depth of 12 inches. Well, what I can do is I can assign a profile of W12, which means that the program during optimization will only look for other W12 sections for those members that are assigned this parameter. So we'll go ahead and click the Add button again and then click Close. And let's go ahead and see what we have. Now for this particular model, I've already assigned my columns as an HSS rectangular section. It's going to be an HSS 8 inch by 8 inch by half inch tube for my column sections. And I would like it to go no more than 8 inches um, in depth for my columns. So I'm going to go ahead and assign the D max of 8 inches to those particular members. 
I'm going to start by highlighting that parameter and then I'm going to select all of my columns. To do that, I'm going to go up to the Geometry tab in my Ribbon Toolbar and click on my Group Selection. Now for this particular model, we've classified different members and different groups to make the selection a little easier. So here I'm going to select all of my columns and I'm going to go ahead and say assign this to the selected members. Next I'm going to select my D-min parameter. Now in my high roof area, I would prefer that the members not be less than 8 inches in depth to make the connection design a little easier later on. So to do that, I'm going to highlight the minimum parameter and then I'm going to select my roof girders and my roof beams. And I'm going to finish this off by clicking Assign. The last thing I'm going to do is select my profile parameter. Now everything in the low roof area I would like to have it select a W12. So I'm going to go ahead and select my floor girders and my floor beams. And we'll go ahead and click Assign. These three parameters will allow me to control the optimization and help the program zero in on the types of sections I want it to use. The next type of parameter I want to take a look at is the ratio parameter. So within your steel design dialog, go ahead and click on your define parameters button again. And we're going to find the ratio parameter over in the left hand side. Now in an optimization workflow, it is possible that the optimized members will fail the final code check. To obtain an acceptable design, you may need to perform additional iterations until the analysis converges on a solution, or you can use the ratio parameter to reduce the number of iterations. Now the ratio parameter will be used to specify an upper limit for the ratio of the applied forces to the capacity of the section, and the default for this is 1.0. Now if you set the ratio parameter to something less than 1.0 for the optimization commands, this will direct STAD Pro to select members with some additional capacity with respect to the code design or allowable strength design. This builds in a margin of additional strength in the structure that allows it to tolerate the inevitable redistribution of loads that occur when member stiffnesses change. The resulting design will be less sensitive to subtle shifts in load and an acceptable design may be found with fewer design iterations required. We're going to go ahead and use this parameter in that capacity. So I'm going to set a maximum permissible ratio of my actual load to my section capacity as 0.9 or 90% for the members within the optimization portion of my workflow. So I'm going to set that parameter. We'll go ahead and click the Add button and then we'll click Close. And now I'm just going to assign this ratio parameters to the members I'm going to be including in my optimization. To do that I'm going to highlight this parameter and then I'm going to select all of my beams and columns and braces, horizontal braces for this model. So I'm going to come up here and select by property name through the geometry tab in the ribbon toolbar. And I'm going to select my wide flange sections, my HSS tubes, and my angles. These are the members that are going to be performed a design on through this process. I'm going to go ahead and assign to selected beams and then click on the assign button. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.